The Angry Dragon The Angry Dragon by Michael Gordon It was time for George and his pet dragon Joe to play. With all their toys spread out, they were having a fun day until George accidentally broke Joe's favorite toy. Look what you've done, Joe yelled, you silly boy. Joe flew into a rage. He got angry and red. It was an accident, as sorry, George says. I'm sorry I've upset you. Let's talk it out. Don't be so angry. You don't have to shout. Breathe deeply and let's talk about how you feel. We can fix the toy. It's really not a big deal. Joe breathed and felt better. George was right. He loved his best friend and he didn't want to fight. George helped Joe fix his toy with Dad's glue. Before long, it was good as new. That afternoon, George was helping his mom clean. Joe wanted him to play. He thought George was being mean. Feeling hurt, Joe called George a very horrible name. He said, you're not my friend if you won't play my game. George breathed deeply and said, Joe, please don't be mad. Be patient and wait for me. There's no need to feel bad. There's time to help mom and have fun too. You're my best buddy, Joe. I will play with you. Joe listened to his friend and waited until George was done. Then they played music together and had lots of fun. They were hungry in the kitchen later that day. Joe wanted to eat lots of sweets. George said, no way. Eating sweets, lots of sweets, is bad for your teeth and tummy, too. Joe yelled, I'll eat what I want. Don't tell me what to do. Joe ate all of the sweets, and then later that night, he complained that his tummy didn't feel right. He needed to lie down. He felt so horrible and sad. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you, Joe said. I feel bad. Getting my way hasn't turned out very well, Joe said. As George helped him sip water while he lay in bed, George took care of his friend. He wanted Joe to feel good. He did everything for Joe that a best friend should. I'm going to be more patient and less greedy, Joe said. And instead of getting angry, I'll try talking to you instead. That's great. I'm proud of you, George said to his friend. The boys laughed and chatted until the day came to an end. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this book.